What's up everybody? Matt Nuzzo here at Real. Gonna test out a couple kites today. People have been asking for this, so let's give it a shot. We've got the Ocean Rodeo 14.5 Flight standard construction, and then the Ocean Rodeo 14.5 Alula construction. Yeah, so that 14.5, uh, that's the Alula one. Super lightweight. It is 5.8 pounds. 5.8 pounds for a 14.5, that's super light. We got the standard construction flight 14.5 with regular Dacron. That's actually a very light 7.3 pounds. So most 14, 15 meter kites are in the 10 pound range. So this thing's light to start with. It's got about like 10 to 15 miles in a breeze. It's like straight south, so it's kind of gusty, funky. Good time to test a kite and see what it's made of. So gonna try out the flight first. I've not ridden either of these kites, so it's gonna be a good way to test them out, give a first impression and see how these things go. Standard flight 14.5, here we go. <laughs> Not my best talk, sir. Okay, so this is the standard 14.5. Kite's a lot quicker than expected. It's still a 14, but it turns pretty darn quick. Definitely really nice kite. Cycles really well. Handled the gusty conditions pretty well. It's really kind of gusty launch on the south wind here. Locked and loaded. Feels really good. Looks pretty well too. That's how it, see how it relaunches. Really light breeze right now, but we're gonna see if this thing will go back up. Come on. Here we go. I'm purposely not standing up to see if it will do a deep water relaunch. Here we go. Yeah, nice. It's really light too. Just even launching it, way more stable in really crappy, uh, kind of straight south gusty conditions. Like I noticed immediately, it was much more stable. The kite totally shoot it out. I mean, I got to tune it a little bit, but right off the bat, notice the difference. Impressive. Oh yeah, a little time. Definitely notice the difference right off the bat. Like more power, quicker turning, and lighter in the hands. Still about the same, I got only 10 to 15. My board's been free, so way more power. And we'll see if I'm doing better up wind, but first impression, wow. Definitely notice the difference. I'm gonna test out the uh, water relaunch. Alula relaunch, see how she does. Trying to do the beginner style relaunch. Push the bar out, pull one line, and see what happens. There we go. two things back to back had the flight standard dacron 14.5 uh alula 14.5 flight three struck kite uh this is the first time i've flown the flight and so i wanted to start with the dacron one and i'm glad i did because it's a really really good kite you know real stable good power through the turns there's no flutter like it just kind of stays really connected i was out there in like 10 to 10 to 16 maybe it was really gusty kind of fluky conditions so good for testing you know my feeling is if you test a kite in junky conditions and it works well it's gonna be a good kite overall. So, you know, overall, really like the kite uh, on the, the flight. The thing I wanted to test was, does the Alula make a difference? Like, is the 30% more worth the difference? You know, it's a pound and a half difference. So like, is that pound and a half gonna make a difference with the, with the Alula? 
as soon as I put the kite in the air, I was like, oh yeah, this thing feels a lot better. So it's way more stable. You know, when you get hit by a gust, it kind of just uh, self-adjusts. Like you don't get that puff and have to readjust your bar or anything. So it was much easier to fly just even in gusty conditions. Power the thing up, more power, better upwind, better turning speed. Um, so still has all the great characteristics of the flight, but it just it did everything that much better. Um, you know, and I was just like, is this really happening? You know, and so I came back, wind meter is about the same, water relaunch is about the same. You know, both of them struggled a little bit because it was like really lolly and I was doing like a deep water relaunch, like beat up, like beginner style, just let the bar out and pull, pull like without any sort of tricks. Both relaunched in, in really light breeze. Um, but the Lula, no question, was way better performance and, you know, does make a difference. Like, I was like, holy cow, like, this is no joke. I immediately felt it, and then every mark while I was riding it, it rode better. So, Alula is a great product. Um, very impressed with how, how well it performed. If you got the money to spend up on it, it's totally, totally worth it. If you want to get more reviews, we're going to put out full review on the flight, Alula, and standard construction. But I just want to do this quick back-to-back -back test. First time riding either kite. Uh, it's really fun. Stoked to get out there. See you guys on the water.